Hi, today on the Keyboard Workshop I want to cover one of those topics which involves a term that you've probably heard of and just don't know what it means. It's thirds and fifths. What's that all about? Well, first of all, thirds and fifths are nothing to do with the fractions. This is something that immediately seems to come up in people's mind. It's nothing to do with a third or a fifth of an octave or whatever. And the second thing is it's purely an interval that is the gap between two notes. That's what a third is, and that is what a fifth is. Basically, it's the gap between two notes. Now, if you see my video on scales, we did the scale of C major, which was just using all the white notes. So here's middle C, and then there's is the scale of C major. Now, all this is, is the sol fa scale, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. And quite simply, the third is the third note, and the fifth is the fifth note. So, if do is the first note, which is C, re is the second note, which is D, and mi is the third note, which is E. So a third above middle C would be E. The fourth note is F, and the fifth note is G, so a fifth above middle C would be G. Third and a fifth. Now we can do this starting from different notes. So if we started from the D this time and made a third above this D, it would be the third note in the scale of D. So let's play the scale of D. Now this time, a third above D is actually F sharp. This is the first note, D. E is the second note in the scale. And F sharp is the third. So that is a third above D. The fifth would be the A, because G is the fourth note. And A is the fifth note in the scale. So a fifth above D would be A. Now another way of working out thirds and fifths is just to count the number of notes. So if we started off with C, and we know that E is the third above middle C, there are one, two, three, four notes in between the two. The gap is four notes. So at any time, if we wanted to find a third above a note, we would raise it by four notes. So a third above D would be one, two, three, four, and we're back to F sharp again. Now, here's something quite interesting. If you've seen my video on chord construction, you'll notice that when we form the chord of C major, we're already playing the third and the fifth. And the same with D major. In fact, with any of the major chords, you always play the third and the fifth. Now, there are other intervals in music. There's second, fourth, sixth, and seventh. But these aren't anywhere near as common because they don't sound as good. Now, I'm always going on about notes sounding good together, and thirds and fifths do. Whereas seconds, fourths, sixths and sevenths aren't quite so good. So there it is, thirds and fifths. The third note in the scale and the fifth note in the scale. Easy.